Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number five from the June 2024 replacement R paper from the Pure Mathematics P2 exam. And here we have a question about trigonometry and again another modeling type of question where the depth of water d meters in a harbor on a particular day is given by the equation d equals 8 plus 5 sine of the angle pi t over 6 plus 3 where t is between 0 and 24, where t is a number of hours after midnight. So after midnight. So d is in meters, which is the height, the depth of water in the harbor, and t is in hours, the time after midnight. The show that the depth of water in the harbor at 2 a.m. is just over 4 meters. So what we need to do here is just replace, as we can see, 2 a.m. at 2 a.m., T is equal to 2, because it's 2 hours after midnight. And so therefore, D is going to be 8 plus 5 times the sine of pi times 2 over 6 plus 3. All right? So basically, we can just put that in our calculator, and that will be fine. This is one mark. We can just replace... Um, the t with uh, the t with the two here. So we have eight plus five times a sine, and this is two pi over six, which is the same as pi over three. So pi over three, but inside the angle we also have plus three. Now we have to make sure that we are in radian mode. So I'm going to do that now. Shift menu, angle input, and radians, because of course the angle is radians. Okay, so we must change it to radian mode, and we get the answer, and that's equal to 4.066. So a lot of people, or some people, might not appreciate the fact that we have to write the answer in, or we have to put a calculate in radian mode, and they might get the wrong answer. But be careful about this. You see, whatever you see here is pi. Uh, it means it's in terms of radians. So you have 4.066, and... 4.066, okay, so therefore we can say that the depth, the depth, the depth is equal to, um, or is, is just over, Four meters. Okay, 4.06, of course, is just over 4 meters. And that's part A, pretty simple there. Um, and then it says for part B, it says find to the nearest minute. Okay, now be careful here because this thing is in hours. So find to the nearest minute the first time after midday. After midday. Uh huh, we gotta be careful here. That's after midnight, that's after midday. Be careful. When the depth of water, okay, in the harbor is exactly, exactly six meters. Okay, so we want to find the time when the depth is, or d is equal to six. So I'm going to say we want to find when a plus five times the sine of pi t over six plus three is equal to six. Okay, and we know that t is between 0 and 24. Okay, so let's take this and solve this for t. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to rearrange it. You're going to have 6 minus 8 divided by 5. So you have 5 sine, let's do it step by step, pi t over 6 plus 3 is equal to minus 2. So subtract 8 from both sides and then divide by 5. So the sine of pi t over 6 plus 3 is equal to minus 2 over 5. And we can see here that our limit, okay, we have to change it according to this. So this has to become pi t over 6 plus 3. So I have to change this as well. So um, I have to basically multiply by... Um, the 0 by pi over 6, and then add 3, so that gives going to be 3 on this side, 
I'm going to add, I'm going to multiply the 24 by pi t over 6. That's going to give me uh, 4 pi t plus 3. So those are my limits here. Okay, from 3 to 4 pi t over plus 4 pi t plus 3. So let's find out what that is. 4 times 3.14. Sorry, 4 pi plus 3, not 4 pi t. 4 pi, what am I doing? 4 pi plus 3. Okay, I have to multiply that number by 4 pi and then add 3. So 24 times, so I have to multiply by pi over 6. So pi over 6 times 24 is 4 pi and then plus 3. So 4 pi plus 3. So I'm going to put uh, 4 times 3.142, okay, plus 3. So our ma maximum limit is up to 15.56. So this is like 15.568. That's as far as we can go. We can go from three to, the, to that to catch all the angles. And then we will decide which is the one which is the first time after midday when the depth of the water is exactly six meters. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say pi t over six plus three is equal to inverse sine of this angle. So I'm going to put inverse sine of negative 2 over 5. And that is in radians as it should be. That gives us negative 0. Point, negative, sorry, negative 0. 0.4115. Negative 0. 0.4115. Okay. Now that angle is not in our range. Okay. To find the other angles in the range, I'm going to do pi minus 0 0.4115. So that's one of the angles in our range. Now remember with sine, okay, we always do, uh, you know, pi or 180 minus the angle given. It's always like that, right? So the sine curve looks something like this. Now this one goes slightly into the negative. So sine curve looks like this, All right? So what we've got, what we found first, our principal angle is somewhere over here. Okay, negative 4.115. Um, that's the, uh, you know, the value of the ratio. So our angle that we're going to get when we do pi minus that, okay, is um, going to be, so minus 2 fifths is here, sorry. So this is the first angle we get, negative 0.4115. Right, so when you do pi minus that, it gives you this angle. Why? Because it's pi minus the answer. Sorry. Pi minus negative 0 0.4115. That's what I should have forgot for the minus. It. So it's pi minus this angle. And as you can see, that's going to give you pi plus the angle, which will give you, this is pi, as you see, it's pi plus the same distance on that side. Okay, so for the sine curve, it's always the angle the calculator gives you principal solution that's called, and then pi minus that. Okay, even if it's negative, pi minus that negative value, and you'll see it gives you plus. So if I take my calculator, and I do pi minus the answer, so pi minus the answer is going to give me 3.5531. So that's going to give me 3.5531. Okay, so this is uh, one of the solutions. But it is in our range. We'll have a look because there's another solution, which is over here. Okay, and how do you find that solution? You just add two pi to this. You add two pi to the original answer. So we go back to the original answer. Okay, which is this, and we add two pi because it repeats every three sixty degrees, every two pi radians. That gives us five point eight seven one six, which is in our range. Five point eight seven one six that's also in our range and we can continue okay we can continue and find this angle if we want to which is going to be basically this answer plus two pi so if we go back to this answer here um go back to this answer here okay, which is basically pi minus this oops let's go back to this so it's basically pi minus the last answer. If you add 2 pi to this, that gives you the next one in the range, which is 9.836. 9 point, so we got 2 pi plus the angle, so 9.836. 2, something like that. Okay, so now we've got to decide 
which one of these will give us um, the first time after midday? Okay, so the time has to be basically greater than 12. After midday, the time has to be greater than 12. The value of t has to be greater than 12. So this is not in our range, but these three are. Which one of those will give us a value greater than 12? Let's have a look. So what we can do is we can say pi times t over, we can say t is equal to 3.5531 minus 3. Okay, so you take away 3 and then you add, uh, then you add 6. So then you multiply by 6 and divide by pi. Okay, and then you're going to have uh, 5.8716 and you're going to take away 3 and you're going to multiply by 6 and divide by pi. And here we have 9.8362. We're going to take away 3. We're going to multiply by 6 and divide by pi. Okay, so let's see which is going to give us our required answer. So let's go back to the... Okay, so we're going to do pi minus this answer. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the answer that I just got. I'm going to um, put that in a bracket. I'm going to subtract 3. I'm going to multiply by 6. I'm going to divide by pi. And that will give us 1.0563. So that's t equals 1.0563. That's not more than midday, right? And we can do the same thing. I can go to this. I'll just I'll just use these this value that I've got here. So I'm just going to change this for 5.8716. Okay, and that gives us 5.4843. 5.4843, which is not more than 12. And then we can go to the next value, which is 9.83. So 9.8362. 9.8362. And I'll press equals here. And that gives us 13.0561. 13.0561. Where t is greater than 12. So this is the time we're looking for. So it says the time after midday. So we could write, if we want, um, 13 hours and 0 0.561 hours and change this into minutes. So we can take this and we can take away 13, which gives us 0 0.0, sorry, 0 0.0561. Careful there. Zero point zero five six one hours. So you multiply this by sixty, and that gives you. If you multiply this by sixty to change it into minutes, it gives you three point three seven, three point three seven zero eight minutes. So therefore, we can say the time is thirteen and zero three minutes, or we can say one o three p.m. Okay, either of them are fine. Both of those are off. Uh, this is a 24 hour format. Okay, and this is the 12 hour format. Either of those answers are correct here. Okay, so um, yeah, that's basically the answer. So that concludes this question from this particular um, paper. And this question um, is about modeling trig um, you know, situations. So if you'd like to see other questions from the paper, go to the playlist on the top right of the screen at the end of this video. If you'd like to see other questions um, on this topic of trig, um, you know, trigonometry from P2, and in specific, I'll put another playlist here for a modeling with trig from P2. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link at the top. Thank you for watching and see you soon.